Okay, here are the solutions for the error review, uh, the, the review for the quiz on errors. Um, so first thing it says, look at the formula book, look, booklet and locate the only error formula that appears in it. There's only one error formula, formula that appears in the, the booklet, the most complicated one, which is the percentage error. But uh, we should be able to figure out what the other error formulas are by looking at this from all our practice problems. Okay. So um, here's the error formula right here. I'm just going to clip it out here. It's percentage error. And I'm going to put it inside the solution here. Okay. Okay, so the percentage error is equal to um, the absolute value of the approximate or measured value minus the exact value divided by the exact value and then all multiplied times 100%. So if you remember, the absolute error is the smallest part of this, which is right here. The absolute error would be the approximate or measured value minus the um, exact value, absolute value. Okay? And then the relative value just takes that and divides it by the exact value. And the percentage error takes the, um, this fraction and multiplies it by 100. Okay? So we're going to do a few examples here. You'll s remember how to do that. Okay? So is the f formula shown for absolute, relative, or percentage error? Well, it's for percentage error. Figure out how to remember the absolute and relative errors by looking at the percentage errors formula. Okay, remember, the numerator here with absolute value is the absolute error. And the fraction here, numerator and denominator together, that's the, um, the relative error. Okay, So we can easily remember absolute error formula and relative error formula just by looking at the percentage error formula. Just don't forget to take the absolute value. You always need to take absolute value. Okay, now let's take the first problem here. Your, your weight is, um, oops, let me fix that. Your height is 1.639 centimeters, but the ruler only measures two decimal places. What is the absolute relative and percentage error? Well, <clears throat> so the exact, um, the exact uh, value is 1.639 meters. Okay? If you can only uh, measure two decimal places, that would be 1.63 meters. Well, let's see. Um, before we throw away that 9, we've got to round up, right? Okay, so the measured value is 1.64. Okay. What is the absolute relative and percent, uh, percentage error? So the first thing we're going to figure out is the absolute error, which is really easy, right? 1.64 minus 1.639, and that would be 0 0.001. We'll do that on the calculator for those of you who like using the calculator. 1.64 minus 1.639. Uh, 0 0.001. Remember, you can do that in either with either number first. If you get a negative number, you're supposed to take the absolute value. Okay. So the absolute error is one uh, is 0 0.001 meters. Okay. And remember, absolute error is the only error that actually has centimeters, meters, or any kind of unit on it because it is not a fraction. Okay. Once you start taking um, a length divided by a length, then you're left with a ratio and not with um, a length or whatever. So absolute error here is a length. Okay. Now uh, the relative error would be 0 0.001 meters divided by the exact length, which is 1.639 meters. Okay. So that would be equal to, do that on the calculator, 1.639. Oops, I messed that up, huh? 0 0.001 divided by 1.639. Okay, so this would be 6.1 times, okay? It's a scientific notation. So that would be equal to 0 
six, one, zero. Okay? Uh, and that's a ratio, so there's no units for it. Okay, and then the percentage error would just be that um, times 100. Okay, so it's less, much less than 1%. Okay, now let's take the next problem. The absolute error when you measure your mass at Drogazil is 0.25 kilograms. What might your real mass be if the measurement says 63.5 kilograms? Okay, well you could put two answers here. You could put 63.5 plus 0.25 and that would be 63.75 or you could say 63.5 minus 0.25 and that would be 63.25. Okay, so we don't know which direction the error is going. If we measure 63.5, then we think the real value might be 63.75 or 63.25. Well, we're just going to pick one because we don't know which one it is. So we'll put 63.75. Okay, and that we're saying that is the exact. And let's figure out the relative error based on that. So that would be um, 63.75. Uh, that would be the the uh, absolute error, which is 0.25, and we're going to divide by the real, the exact value, which is 63.75, or that's what we think it is anyway. So now we're going to figure out the relative error divided by 63.75, and we get 0.0039. So that's the relative error. And now we're going to get the percentage error, and all we're going to do to get that is multiply by 100. So that would be 0.392% percentage error. Okay. Now we'll go to this um, second to last problem. The exact value is 2.49 times 10 to the minus 7th. Absolute error is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 8th. What is the relative and percentage error? Okay, well, the rel relative error is just the absolute error divided by the exact value. So 3.2 EE, um, negative 8, divided by 2.49 EE to the negative 7. Oops. That doesn't look good. And I can't delete. Okay, that's weird. That must be like a bug of the emulator. Okay. Oh, I guess I needed to backspace before I delete it. Okay, so the um, relative error is 0.129, and the percentage error is just that times 100. So it would be. 12.9%. Okay. Now the challenge. If the percentage error of a me if the percentage error of a measurement is 5%, what is the relative error that we're going backwards here? If the real measurement is 5 kilograms, what is the absolute error? Okay. So if the percentage error is 5%, then what is the relative error? Well, that's kind of easy, right? Because if you have the relative error and it's um, a certain number, to get the percentage error, you multiply by 100. So how do you go backwards? Well, uh, you divide by 100. So the relative error, if the percentage error is 5%, it's going to be 0 0.05. We divide by 100. And remember, the decimal 0 0.05 is equivalent to 5%, so that makes sense, right? So that's the relative error. Okay. And if the real measurement, if the real measurement, if the measurement is, um, or if the real value or mass is 5 kilograms and what is the absolute error? Well remember the formula to get the absolute error is the relative error uh, or the relative error is equal to the absolute error divided by the real value. Okay so um, we have 0 0.05 which is the relative error is equal to the absolute error divided by 5 kilograms. Okay, so um, the absolute error is equal to the relative error times 
five kilograms. Okay, which is equal to about 0.25 kilograms. Okay, so that's the absolute value. The absolute error is 0.25 kilograms, and we can check that by doing everything backwards. So if the absolute error is 0.25 kilograms, then that means the relative error would be 0.25 kilograms divided by five kilograms, and that would give us um, that would give us 0 0.05, and that's correct. Okay, and 0 0.05 relative error is equal to five percent absolute error. Okay, so that's right.